In this video, we're going to learn how to create a pie chart race to illustrate numerical proportions over time. We're going to do this using Plotopy, or Plot API, which is an API for creating beautiful and interactive visualizations. To keep things as simple as possible, let's stick to the defaults, meaning no customization or commentary pop-ups. We can cover those in another video. We'll use Python in this video, but you can use Plotopy from any programming language using its API endpoints. Let's get started. Here, we're using a Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to import the Plotopy Python package. Next, we're going to need to prepare the data that we want to visualize. Plotopy PyFight expects, at minimum, a list of dictionary items. These items are the samples that will define the value of our segments over time. Here is an example of one of these dictionary items in a list we've named samples. We can see that each dictionary item has three properties. Order, which determines the time period this item belongs to. This needs to be numerical, but it can be formatted, for example, as a date. Next is the name. This is the name that's going to appear on the pie chart segment. Lastly, we have the value, which is the value of the item at this point in time. So, if we want to have five segments on our pie chart, we'll need to have five items at order zero. Let's add them now and update the values with some dummy data. At this point, we could pass this data to Plotopy and see what's generated. But as we can see, we only have data for a single point in time. As a result, we're not seeing any transitions and there isn't much of a race. So let's go back to our data, copy and paste it a few times and update our dummy values to show some variation over time. We'll have to make sure that each subset of our data increments in its order. This time, when passing our data to Plotopy, we can see a PyFight diagram that transitions over time and ends on the data that's indicated by the greatest order value. By default, a Plotopy visualization already looks great, but we can do so much more with the many parameters. For example, we could add icons for each segment, change the colors, add events that trigger commentary pop-ups, prompt the user for interaction to continue, and much more. Feel free to request other demonstrations in the comments, and be sure to check out Plotopy at Plotopy.com. If you'd like to join the community, then check out our Discord server over at discord.datacrayon.com, or check out our Patreon over at patreon.datacrayon.com. Looking forward to meeting you and stay safe.